Hey guys, Dr. Walker in Frisco. Uh, this month's procedure of the month is rhinoplasty. So we'll be answering some questions throughout the month and just to start to talk about what is a rhinoplasty exactly. A rhinoplasty ranges from taking a small bump out of your nose to giving you more nasal projection. It's really anything and everything to do with reshaping the nose to give you either a better shape or to make it smaller or bigger based on proportions of your face. So some of the main questions that we've been asked lately from patients, uh, number one, what's the difference between an open and a closed rhinoplasty? Uh, the really big difference between open and closed is just a small incision across this part of your nose called your columella. If you make that incision, you're able to lift all the skin up and really see everything, um, but it comes with the um, con of increased amount of swelling. And that's not just after surgery. During surgery, an open rhinoplasty surgeon, to an extent, has to imagine what the post-op results are gonna look like because the skin starts to swell more and more even during surgery. With a closed rhinoplasty, you get worse view, um, but if you're, Used to doing closed rhinoplasty, uh, a lot of times you can get access to most of the structures of the nose and really see your results in real time um, on the table. It gives you a more predictable result, but sometimes you're not able to give as dramatic changes as an open rhinoplasty. Um, there's generally less swelling with a closed rhinoplasty, um, and there's a lot of nuances that will increase or decrease the swelling. It really just depends on what needs you have. But again, a closed rhinoplasty preserves some of the ligaments in the nose and it preserves um, or prevents you from having to do an incision here on your columella. Uh, so question number two, who is a good candidate for a rhinoplasty? Uh, really two big categories of uh, what makes you a good candidate. Number one, if you don't like the way your nose looks, um, especially candidates who feel like they have a wide or a droopy nasal tip, a hanging, columella or a bump on their nose, these are generally really correctable. Um, and then there's another category of patients who can't breathe well. A rhinoplasty um, term called septoplasty, um, in addition to rhinoplasty, which is a addressing the nasal septum or the, the partition between the left side and the right side of your nose that can help you breathe a lot better in addition to straightening your nose and improving the cosmetics of it. If you really have a lot of breathing problems, those are even uh, potential cases that could get um, approved by insurance. Uh, next question, will I have nasal packing after? Well, it just depends on what's done. If you have a small bump taken off your nose and a little bit of tip work, but you don't have a lot of um, reshaping of the bones, reshaping of the septum. You may not have a splint or packing on the inside of your nose um, because you won't need support of those structures. I don't do a lot of nasal packing, uh, but I do use internal splints that hold the septum um, and keep your airways open while it heals uh, on a good amount of occasions. And it really just depends on what you need and kind of the training and, and, and what the rhinoplasty surgeon is used to doing. Um, and generally, all splints for me are taken out within five to seven days after surgery. And what is the recovery like? The worst part of a rhinoplasty is having dressings and swelling in the middle of your, middle of your face. Um, most rhinoplasty patients, um, even the ones with closed rhinoplasties, have blue and black eyes, a little bit of swelling around the, the um, nasal structures at least for a week or two. Um, Open rhinoplasties will be more swollen. Closed rhinoplasties will be less swollen. Uh, at about a week, most uh, rhinoplasty surgeons will take out your splints on the inside and outside of your nose if they were present. Um, and then from that point on, it just takes several weeks for the swelling to go down. Usually, uh, at least a quarter to half of the swelling is done even within the first few weeks. But the remain, remaining 50% really takes three to six months, upwards of a year to go out. So, you know, I, I like to tell my rhinoplasty patients, you'll feel good and, and, and look well enough to feel like you can go out in public within a couple weeks. You'll really like your results within a month or two, and you'll love your results at six to 12 months.
it's kind of the gift that keeps on giving. Um, so I hope that helps, gives you a little bit of information, and um, we'll be showing some rhinoplasty results this month, and we'd love to see you in consultation.